Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the history of naval warfare when castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Let's return to the situation that we had in the, not the last video, but video before last. The Entente fails where tensions between uh, Britain and France over colonial rights causes a clash around 1904. So instead of playing the British this time, we're going to play the French. And uh, I think we're going to build a Suffren class battleship i'm not sure if there were you know the, the, the french were doing a lot of one ofs i think at the time or variations of one offs i'm not sure there were any sister ships or any that were not somewhat different but i'm just going to do her today i'm going to do the suffering because i found a hull that pretty much works which is a big deal right now with ultimate admiral dreadnoughts is finding a hull lets you get something that's uh you know kind of close to what you want to have and what you would see in a picture of uh of that particular ship and I'll probably throw in a, uh, well, heck, let's do it. Um, let's, uh, let's just step this back. Da, 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 da. Oops, there we go. And about 1904 and at about 10,000 yards. Uh, let's, the Suffering and a light cruiser trying to break out into uh, the Mediterranean. Uh, we're going to assume that the British battleships have been drawn off, you know, make up a reason. And what they have is a couple of heavy cruisers, a couple of light cruisers, and uh, I don't know, two, two, three torpedo boats, something like that. Um, and the French have to bash their way past them. It's a it was an interesting situation. I did this a few minutes ago with one heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and three or four torpedo boats. And there was a lot of dancing <laughs> to avoid torpedoes. Kind of fun. The one thing you need to do, I think, is unlock to get the proper hull or a hull that's close. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, what I'm going to do is, like I always do, I'm going to jump in and design this thing. And then we'll come back and uh, get after it. Uh, 10,000 meters, da da, da 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 yep, I guess that's close enough. I think it started before at about 7,000 meters. Let's make it 8,000 meters. Let's compromise. <laughs> that's a hell of a compromise. Okay, but before we do, hey, you know the drill. It's the YouTube ritual. I do the videos. You subscribe, like, share, and comment. I mean, assuming you like what you're hearing. And if you don't, why, why have you been here for the last 2 minutes and 48 seconds? So, subscribe, like, share and comment the comments on uh these videos are, are really good and i enjoy uh chatting with you guys and finally if you just can't wait to see another ultimate admiral dreadnoughts video once or twice a week however many i'm doing these days and just really can't stand not to throw me some love there well then you can buy me a cup of coffee there's a link in the description okay back in just a moment for you for a few minutes for me well, here she is, a pretty good-looking old gal. Um, one thing I've noticed with these pre-dreadnought hulls is you just cannot seem to get balanced. You can't. You're always going to end up with some significant aft offset, and there's just nothing that can be done for that. And I don't know whether that's a, yeah, that's the way it was, or if it's just the way the models work out. Um, well, let's look at her. I actually got her fairly close to her full load which is a little heavier than that not by much but a little bit i don't know what i could add that yeah uh, look at barbette 2 gets her up to yeah real close <laughs> real close uh triple expansion engines cold fired induced boiler uh the fact that auxiliary engine gets her within 45 tons of what i see as her full load so what the heck we're i guess we'll leave that alone uh, I don't know what kind of armor to give her. That's probably more than she ought to have, or better than she ought to have, but it seems to fit with everything else. I mean, let's see, you could go to Barbet 1, and, and she still kind of screams up and over. Don't really know what to make of, of uh, 
any torpedo, whether she was single hull or standard, some anti-flood citadel. I just kind of balanced this out as best I could. I believe she had electrical turrets. It was kind of interesting. Electrical turrets and hand-cranked elevation. Kind of interesting. Standard reloading, I guess. 18-inch torpedo seems fine. I gave her a coincident range finder, which I think is probably... You know, it doesn't much matter. Uh, slows her aiming speed down, long range accuracy. Yeah, we'll give her the stereoscopic. She had 11.8 inch belt. I just left the belt extended at whatever the default was. 2.4 inch deck is all I heard, so I gave her that uniformly. All I read. Uh, 11 inch conning tower. I don't know. It's about the same as the belt. Uh, the turrets 11.5 was the default. I left it the same as the belt. You know, default turret tops and secondaries. I have no idea. I just left it up where it is. Uh, two 12-inch guns, six 6-inch six guns, and that looks pretty good according to uh, the drawings I saw. Now, when it gets down to these 4-inch guns, um, I'm just glad I got eight of them, which is about right. The 2-inch guns is where it gets weird. Uh, She's supposed to have something like 22 of them, and there's no way to work that in. I did manage to get 16 by mounting uh, double turrets, or double, I call them turrets, they're not really turrets, double uh, protected mounts uh, where there was a place to put them. I don't think that's necessarily anything like reality. But it gets the number of two inch guns up in the neighborhood of where it needs to be and four underwater tubes. Good for 17 knots, uh, medium range, standard bulkheads. I don't know. Now, uh, buy the game, build it yourself. Your mileage may vary. I think she's pretty. Strangely enough, the more I play with this, the more I start appreciating at least the way the models look. A lot of pictures of ships in this era are really ugly. <laughs> but I think this was kind of cool. What do you say, instead of talking about it, we get out there and play and see how she does. Breaking out versus the light forces left behind by the British as their heavy forces ran off to fight the fight that... Uh, you know, that's it. That's this ticket. The heavy forces are off fighting the fight that uh, we played around with last week. And uh, the Suffren and her escort are going to try to break out against uh, the British that were left behind. Yeah, that's the ticket. All right, here we go. Um, I didn't rename her. Well, I feel stupid. Enemy smoke spotted to the north. Okay, I wonder if I can do this. You know, I'm really, I'm frustrated with that. I really am. I'm frustrated with that. Suffering. By God. I don't have to. I don't have to put up with that. I can rename it. And I did it before I figured anything out, so it's not like I was cheating or anything. Sort of. All right, turn to the north. Is she, uh, attach her to the, oh, I can't even say that, but it's a pretty name, I'm sure. It looks pretty. All right, she's good for 17 knots. She's good for 22 knots. Let's back her down to 17. And, wait, 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 wait. We gotta come way around. Way around. In which case I think what we'll do come back to suffering. Attach her. Get her into a hard starboard turn. And no, don't do that. Well, all right, she's already detached. So I'm having one of those moments where you can't... Okay, there it goes. Where you can't select the ship. And we'll step her up because she needs to try to catch up. And let's go. Man. All right, uh-uh-uh-uh. 
going so fast that we can't. We started a long ways. Too bad you can't set these up. What would be beautiful is they gave us a uh, a map and we could spot. Uh oh. And we could spot our ships on it when. Uh, yeah. All right. What do we got out here? Hmm. I'm guessing a heavy cruiser. All right. Well, I don't want to be counter marching past her, so we will turn. Continue to turn hard to starboard and have the. I wish I could say that. If a gen, whatever, I, you know, I, I've just got no French at all. I studied Latin in high school, you know. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, 5.6 kilometers. Wow. Let's take a look at something. Whoops. Camera the camera controls are not my good thing. Alright, she's just outside of torpedo range, just inside of four inch range. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for torpedo boats, big time. Well, we're, to we're still aiming. Oh, we've taken a five-inch hit. That could be a could be a light cruiser, but those guns look bigger than five-inch. So I suspect we took a secondary hit. And we've got other other fire raining down on us from unseen ships. pick up the pace a little bit. There we go. What do we see over here? I think the other heavy. Right. I feel much better about turning to starboard now. I don't need to be closing the range on both of them. I wonder if I can attach her to the battleship now. Yes, yeah, stop. Because it just made her the, I bet you it just made her the flag. Attach. I wonder if I can attach him to the light cruiser. That just made him. The, yeah, that's just dumb. No. That sets them. To, and once again, she's just going to be a pain in the ass. That sets her to falling back, trying to f find a way to get behind the uh, light cruiser and I'll not have that that's just dancing for nothing all right she's just she's a five inch cruiser I think I will leave her sheltered here on this side until we see the uh, torpedo boats I don't want I don't want those cruisers concentrating on her clearly the uh, the suffering is better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speaking of torpedo boats. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to charge forward a bit to get in position. Great fun. What fun. Gotta watch out this torpedo boats have already he's already launched. Alright, we're gonna have to turn right now. It's gonna be a difficult fight. Last time I played the torpedo boats were poorly placed. 
no, once again, I want you to shoot at him and secondary him. Thank you. The AI likes to argue about targeting, which is something I wish they would fix. Either that or give me reason to trust the AI targeting, which I do not. Looks like we launched some torpedoes. I have no idea where they are, where they're, what they were targeted against. Against a torpedo boat? Yeah, that was a waste. That'll never matter. Alright, suffering is turning away from the inevitable. What is that? Another torpedo boat, I think. Somebody got hit pretty hard. I don't know who. Oh, wait a minute. Did we get a 12-inch hit? Well, I think we did, but it didn't hurt him. Alright, hopefully that's enough turn away to prevent a torpedo from... Her to slow down. Nicely done! Alright, we gotta deal with these torpedo boats. That one's been beat down. But not too terribly bad. And he's reloaded the torpedoes. I haven't seen the torpedoes he launched. There's another torpedo boat. I don't want him to fall too far behind. Uh, this amount of turning he's done. Wham! Good hit. The amount of turning she's done has uh, slowed her down. screwed around with her again and moved interfaced my way into a screw up with her positioning um, yeah, you might as well get some smoke going well so far breaking out is not uh, oh she has been beat down like to see that. Can't have enough beat up torpedo boats. Man, she's getting hurt. She is getting hurt. Glad we kicked the gas up. Let her accelerate a bit. have not hurt her significantly. Not surprising since we're opening the range trying to avoid being torpedoed. Okay. How are we doing here? 16.7, 11.9. She's having a hard time accelerating for some reason. Uh, we just have to continue what we're doing. I haven't seen the uh, haven't seen the torpedoes I expected. Focus on her now. And focus on her now. Okay. Heck of a fight. <laughs> As usual, my light forces are already getting beat down. She just doesn't seem to be able to pick up the pace. I 
wonder where her torpedo range is. Oh, we're outside of her torpedo range. Turn. Not you, but you, but the suffering. Yeah, I want the light cruiser to continue. Yeah, might as well pick up the pace since we're going really slow here. Whew, this is getting ugly. These light cruisers are just tearing me up. And I'm having problems with, as usual. Camera crazy. There we go. You keep opening the range a bit because you get tore up. We are not getting anywhere here. Oh, oh, she is. Well, she's getting wasted. She's taking five inch and four inch hits that are just tearing her to shreds. And we are not getting anywhere in terms of beating down. All right, got to turn away again. Torpedo range. Nicely done. I think you finished that one pretty much. Yeah, looks good. We're going to lose the light cruiser. She's just about done for. Just about done for. Not good. This looks like a... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she's, she's in bad shape. There's not much we can do about it. Let's get the secondaries focused there. And that's it. As usual, my light forces are early casualties. No torpedoes. We just... Alright, that should bring the secondary batteries around where they can bear on that light cruiser. Nice hit. Melbourne. Oh, we got a good hit on her. She's let some torpedoes loose. We got a turn. Yeah, she's turning away because she's been beat down and she's got the torpedoes in the water, so we have to turn. I wonder. Yeah, there's a good shot here somewhere. I like it. And yeah, we're off and running again. There's that torpedo. I think we've evaded it. Run parallel to it for right now. Because we are getting hurt. Seven inch guns are not fun. I 
there. Secondary's there. Well, we seem to have put one torpedo boat out of action. We've lost a light cruiser, and things are looking pretty rugged. Light cruisers just don't care. If they had torpedoes, I would be toast. But we hurt this heavy cruiser. I guess not. Wow. Yeah, I could have swore we put some big holes in him. Looks like he may have just pumped himself dry. And another torpedo boat. Fights just grinding on. Man, I thought we I thought we pounded that guy. Clearly this is not a winning fight. He's uh Is that a torpedo boat? I think it is. It keeps saying light cruiser, but I don't believe it. Nice hit. Here he comes. What he's doing, that's not going to get a torpedo off at us, I don't think. Yeah, he just took it to shorts. He's got to control that flooding. He did get some torpedoes off, so once again, we have to turn away. Heck of a fight. Heck of a fight. And he is pumping himself dry. There we go. Show that stern to him. And she is. That's what's happening. The, their damage control is awesome. Alright, we've got to continue away till we get a feel for that torpedo. We are getting beat down. There it is. There it is. All right, we can turn back now. Get some get our guns back into play. Come on. Six inches of armor. If we go to HE. Where are you guys? Great, just great. Actually, at this point, what I would do is assume that I have broken free since I'm pretty much still on the, well, I'm not on the course we started off on. But they have basically evaded us. 
yeah, you could you could call this a win if they are insisting on staying out of reach. She slowed down a bit. I don't know what she's good for. Fourteen and a half knots it looks like. But these guys are not serious about fighting her. What we can't do with the game is what you can't do with the game is is make a determination that you have to leave in this direction all that kind of good stuff that functionality is not there as beat up as she is she needs to be opening the range the way she is right now that would be the wise thing to do Huh. They're still... Oh, 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 oh! Big hit. Big hit. What becomes of the Melbourne? Kind of looks like she's going to hang on. But only just... What? Ah. We ran out of sight. Well, she won't be catching up with us anytime soon. Because they can see us and we can't see them, they're still raining all these shells on us. But yes, at this point, Wisdom says the suffering should attempt to open the range and escape. Now whether or not she escapes back to port or she escapes you know and, and actually breaks free in the conditions she's in she ought to be heading home. She ought to be coming back where she came from. Oh look another light cruiser. A fight. She wants some of us. Not that we have much of a chance to engage her to hurt her. But we're working on it. It's getting close. Can we do it? I think she could probably. 23 knots. Yeah, she can stay up with us all she wants. One good hit would settle that. We could pull it off. We're up to 13.8 knots, or down, down to 13.8 knots. Thank God they don't. Oh my God, she's a six-inch cruiser. Ouch. And that pretty much settles her hash. She probably will survive that, but she's not going to keep up with us after that. Yeah, she's pumping herself clear as it is. six knots. And there you go. Well, I think it's fair to say that the, uh, the British have managed to uh, block the suffering from escaping. They sank uh, her light cruiser and she is hooking it up as only makes sense to kick clear so that was a lot of fun I think maybe we'll do it again uh, maybe give her a heavy cruiser for an escort might make a difference I don't know but I think we're gonna call it right there let's see yeah let's leave the battle so that was great fun hey and as usual I appreciate you watching we'll see you again real soon 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of very young was, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.